thank you for inviting me back to give the keynote again. It's always, um, obviously, it's a great honour to be invited to do the keynote. Uh, it's, in theory, one of a very small number of times in the, in the day when everyone is joined together in, in, in the same room. Uh, of course, being right at the start of the day, by the looks of it, over half of you are still in bed. So, <laughs> swings and roundabouts. So anyway, um, I wasn't told what to talk about uh, this year. Last, last, last year I was told I had to give my history of the uh, London PM talk, but uh, this year I was given a free range, so I decided I'd like to talk about the M word. So we should probably start by um, working out exactly what the M word is. So it's something that most of the Pearl community is su suspicious of. It's also something that a lot of the Pearl community doesn't really see the point of. No, it's not Microsoft. <laughs> so let's try again. Uh, it's, it's something that's often slightly more confusing than it needs to be. It's something that is hard to use successfully. No, it's not my SQL. <laughs> so, one last go. It's something that much of the Pearl community would rather not deal with. It's something that a lot of the Pearl community often doesn't really understand. No, it's not MST. <laughs> the M word is marketing. <laughs> Looking back, 2009 is the year that the Pearl community really started to take marketing seriously. This is good. <laughs> but also, 2009 is the year that the Pearl community really started to understand what marketing is. This is, of course, even better. So, what is marketing? Let's ask Wikipedia. Marketing is the activity, set of institutional processes of creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offerings that have value for customers, clients, partners, and society at large. I hope that clears things up. <laughs> Later on in the same article, it also says it's the management process responsible for identifying, anticipating, and satisfying customer requirements profitably. Now, we're an open source um, project, so you'd need to um, define uh, customer and profit in kind of wide terms. And, and, and management. Um, but that's kind of getting closer to the kind to, to, to what it is that marketing is about. It's communicating between us and our customers, whoever they are, or our potential customers, in a way that um, demonstrates that Pearl is going to is mutually beneficial. Uh, at which point, I, can probably, I should probably tell MST's marketing story. Uh, so Matt was at um, the Nordic Pearl workshop earlier this year, and he was talking to one of the organisers. And they were talking about taking the, um, <coughs> the videos that were taken from the, um, at, at, at the workshop and getting them online as quickly as possible. Something that the London Pearlmongers can learn from, because as far as I know, the videos from the 2000 Yapsi Europe are still not online. Um, and Matt said, oh, that'll be good for marketing, getting the videos online so people can see what happened at the conference. The organiser turned around and said, that's not marketing. I'm not doing marketing. I'm just raising awareness. So, for our third definition of marketing, marketing is raising awareness. Or, to make it easier for Pearl programmers, marketing equals <laughs> raising awareness. This is what we're trying to do. So what has been happening uh, in the marketing world this year? Many, many things. Just a, an overview of, of um, some that sprang to mind when I was at home last night trying to finish this talk instead of being in the pub with the rest of you. Uh, this actually predates um, 2009, but Tim Bunce, I think he actually gave us a, as a keynote here a couple of years ago, um, has a, a series of talks on, on Pearl Myths where he goes around uh, and, and actually 
looks at the facts that underlie um, people saying Pearl is dead and proves that actually Pearl is far from him. Yeah. Uh, there's the Enlightened Pearl organisation, a wonderful bunch of chaps. That's been actually going for more than a, a year now. Uh, many people um, around here are, in, are involved with the organisation. Um, and I strongly suspect there'll be a talk about it um, later in, in the day. There normally is. Uh, Pearl Iron Man blog. So this, I'm convinced, is the uh, single most useful thing that has happened this year. Uh, an idea that came out of the um, EPO, the Enlightened Pearl Organisation, um, just encouraging people to blog and aggregating those blogs and publishing them. Um, Matt, how, how many people have you got? How, how many blogs have you got on the list at the moment? It went past 200 a couple of months back. Yeah, so over 200 people writing Pearl blogs, and all it took to encourage them to do that was a promise of a silly little picture of a, of a man that turns from paper to rock <coughs> to iron. And suddenly you get 200 people out there um, writing about Pearl. I mean, I, I, I su subscribe to the um, Iron Man RSS feed, and I get just too many interesting blog posts about Pearl to read every day. That's, that's great for marketing. The Yaxi Europe marketing boff. This was interesting. Um, people uh, in the middle of the year, people started writing things about. Oh, maybe we sh should think about marketing and stuff like that. And uh, Ovid, Cur Cur Curtis Poe wrote on his used Pearl blog that um, perhaps some people would like to get together and have a conversation about it in Lisbon at Yaxi. So I took that and I said, well, let's go off. Oops. So I, I added marketing to the list of boffs to see how many people would turn up. And we had 50 people come along to an ad hoc meeting after the conference on a, on a Tuesday. Um, 50 quite strong opinions on marketing. Uh, there was a lot of heat and light generated. I'm not sure that we got anything particularly positive on how we were going to move forward, but it certainly showed that there were a lot of people out there who were starting to realise that marketing was something that we needed to be doing. One thing that, uh, that arrived about that time, um, TPF have a marketing committee or they're in the process of setting up a marketing committee, we're saved. The Pearl Foundation are on the case. Um, cleaninguppm.org. Uh, this is a, a, pro a project that hasn't been shouted about, but um, Gabor Zabo has been doing a, a lot of work in this area. Pearl.org is the website that lists all of the local Pearl Mongers websites. And what happens is, Three or four people get really and really enthusiastic about Pearl in a tiny little town in the middle of Europe. And they set up a PM group, and then over three or four years, interest wanes, um, and everyone moves jobs, and suddenly no one goes to the meetings anymore, and the, and the, the group becomes dead. But, because no one bothers to tell the people that run PM.org that the group is dead, the group is still listed on the PM.org website. So another couple of years pass and someone tries to get in touch with the group and gets no re response because the group is no, is no longer there. That's not good for marketing pearl. It doesn't do our image much good at all. So Gabor's doing a, been doing a lot of work trying to track down the people that run all these obscure little pearl manga groups. Um, several years ago, I took over as um, running all of the pearl among members of the job I don't do any anymore. But one of the first things that I did was, was a lot of work here, and we had 500 pearl mining <coughs> groups listed. And after I did my cl cleanup, we went down to less than 300. So I was I, I started off my job by being the man who killed off 200 <laughs> pearl among the groups. Um, so so that, that, that that's an, an important part of the marketing. Um, website redesigns Leo. Leo's here. Stand up, Leo. 
Everyone fall down with your feet. The work that Leah has been, been doing on PM.org and a load of the other smaller um, Pearl websites over the last couple of months has been fabulous. I hear there's an alternative. Hey! <laughs> um, not the most successful Pearl website launch in the world ever. But we now have new hardware. And over the next few days, things will be moving over to the new hardware. And blogs.pearl.org will work. And it will work well. And you'll be able to, to do all your Pearl blogging there. So, at the heart of what it is that we're trying to achieve here, it's all about breaking out of the echo chamber. Something that some of us have been banging on about for years. Pearl programmers all know how wonderful Pearl is. We all know what modern Pearl is, hopefully. If not, there'll be talks later today. <laughs> we know about Moose and DVIX class and Catalyst and stuff like that. When you see people outside of the Pearl echo chamber, criticizing Pearl, they're criticizing the Pearl for 10 years ago, your father's Pearl. <laughs> so we need to get the message about what Pearl is doing out to the non-Pearl programmers. And this is what the marketing movement is all about. Um, another thing, uh, something that um, Gabor has been talking about is um, we're great at holding Pearl conferences and getting people to come along and explain to each other how wonderful we are. But we don't get much Pearl presence at non-Pearl conferences. So uh, Gabor's trying to organise that, get people to go along to things like FOSDEM or um, the UK UUG general um, co conferences, things like that. Just get out and talk to non Pearl people. This has all been mostly uncoordinated activity. But it's all just this year it all just happened to come together simultaneously. But I think it's having a big effect and hopefully it's only the start. And we can achieve an awful lot more but we get a little bit more organisation behind it. You can help. We can all, oh, sorry, we can all be marketeers. We can all get out there and help to raise the awareness of Pearl. Can you perhaps give a talk at a non-Pearl conference? Could you write an article for publication in a non-Pearl website or magazine? Could you help to redesign a Pearl website? Could your company donate web de de design the time? Um, the work that uh, Leon did, uh, much as Leo is a wonderful person, uh, he's not a, a web designer and, and, and the gorgeousness of the use of the um, Pearl or websites is down to Designers that were donated, whose time were do, were donated by Foxtons. Uh, could you start a pearl blog? Well, that's easy. Anyone can, can do that. And if you do start a pearl blog, then get in touch with um, the people at the Iron Man thing, and they'll add, add you to the list. If you can't do any of that, can you donate money to help pay for some of this work? Or can you come up with a really great marketing idea that we haven't thought of yet? 2009 has been a great year for Pearl. With your help, 2010 can be even better. Become a marketeer. Help to raise awareness of Pearl, of modern Pearl, of all the cool things that are happening in the Pearl world. Don't be scared of the M-word. It's not a bad word. Thank you very much. <laughs>